Today I'm going to show you how to hack a website. First, find your target. Next, right click, inspect. Grab the little thing, find your target element, double click. Boom. Okay, we're not actually hacking the website here. After all, if we go back and we reload, we can see that the website is back in order. I remember the first time I did that and I actually thought that I had hacked a website and I thought, oh my gosh, what sort of crazy power I had unlocked. Uh, little did I know that it was just a local change, but still really cool, right? But I wanted to bring it up because there's actually a couple really cool APIs that are sort of related to that that I wanted to highlight today. We'll start with content editable. Content editable is an HTML attribute that when added to an HTML element and assigned the value of true, uh, allows for that uh, content or that element to be edited from the front end. So if we go back to my website and we want to add an attribute here, we can say add attribute of content editable equals true. And once we've done that, we can actually see that we get a a cursor that we can put anywhere on that element. We can highlight it, we can edit it, and have some fun with it. Now, Content Editable is cool because you can actually add that into the markup on your website to any element that you want. And that would allow for users to actually be able to modify the content uh, on their version of your website. Now, if your first thought after seeing this is that you can make a much easier interface for managing your websites and add a visual editor, unfortunately, Content Editable is not really a great solution for that. There's a lot of pitfalls that the industry has really decided that it's not the right approach. Nevertheless, it's a pretty fun and interesting attribute that I wanted to share. And I bring that up because Content Editable is a good introduction to this next thing that I wanted to share. There's an API on the document object called design mode, and you can set it to either on or off. And the cool thing about this design mode is that it can basically allow you to turn that sort of uh, content editable state on the entire document on or off. So if we go back to our website, we can open up our dev tools and go to document.design mode, set that to on. And once we've done that, we can close our uh, dev tools and now every single thing on the website can be editable. So for example, I can get rid of that, get rid of that. And now my evil work is done. How about that? I've defaced my own website. So if you haven't heard of these two browser features, uh, I wouldn't be surprised because they're pretty uncommon. The reason being that I don't think there's any actual good use case for it. Maybe the design mode one would be cool if you could create a browser extension that could toggle on and off the design mode. That way you could give some feedback to your team members or maybe capture it in uh, a picture or send it to Slack or GitHub, but it probably isn't going to be useful to everyone every single day. Unless you're someone like me that likes to grab satirical uh, website titles from the New York Times. And let me just explicitly state to keep our lawyers happy, I do not encourage or promote uh, using these features to modify websites to spread misinformation. That is a terrible thing to do. Nevertheless, these are cool, interesting APIs that I thought I'd share. Okay, one last thing. Let's make sure that things are back to normal. There we go.